Hello, this is teacher Maria, and today at our school of SFP we will be sculpting a medallion in the style of Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau, which means the new art in French, was a major art movement that happened at the very beginning of the 20th century. It was inspired by the natural forms, such as the curves of plants and flowers, and the tech achievements that made uh, possible manufacturing larger regular shapes in glass and metal. It was widely used in interior design, graphic cards, furniture, glass, textiles, ceramics, jewelry, and metalwork. Buildings and objects of everyday use were decorated with stained glass and sculptural reliefs. We will be making one today. You can select a topic, it can be a face, a figure, an animal, just flowers and plants, can be your favorite Pokemon or character from a movie. I will be making a medallion with my own face. You can see I found a lot of references. And now I'm making a full-size drawing of it on a sketching paper. To comply with the style, it should be asymmetrical and full of sinuous curves. I define my profile line on the sketch paper. Later I will just transfer it to the clay piece. Now I'm making my uh, flat medallion base making sure it's thick enough, it should be at least half inch thick. Remember that you will make some dips in it and then add some volume. And I'm also stretching my piece of clay a little bit so that the drawing fits in perfectly. Uh, I position the drawing and start transferring it. You see I'm using a pretty dull pencil and carefully press on paper so uh, the pencil doesn't make a hole in it. And after my drawing is traced, I remove the piece of paper. Here's what I see. Um, now my job is to turn this into a real piece. So some things should get deeper, and I will probably just push, uh, for example, on the background. Um, and some things, uh, like hair and some details on the face and flowers, uh, I will add volume by adding extra clay pieces. I cannot make my face fully three-dimensional now, but I want to show the difference between the cheek which is closer to us and nose, lips and eye that are slightly further away, so I'm pushing them more towards the background. I'm using a sculpting tool. If you don't have it, find a fork or a spoon or a knife with a round handle and use it. The iris is the darkest accent on the face, so I'm making a deeper stroke there. If you need to lift something up, like I'm missing a piece of forehead here, you can always add a piece of clay and carefully blend it with the previous um, surface. In this video I skipped the stage of adding texture to the hair and the flowers. I use the regular pencil for it. And my medallion is ready, but I want to add a hook at the back so it can be hung on the wall. And this is what I do. I make a loop out of wire and I push it deeper, put a piece of clay on top and carefully blend it with the surface. Also, I make some deep for the nail it will be hanging on. My artwork is ready. Since it's an air-dried clay, uh, I will just let it sit uh, on paper and dry out. Uh, you guys can start working on yours. Good luck!